Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams. My name is Tandra and we're doing our daily messages from Spirit. We have three piles for you to choose from. We have pile one with the star, pile two with the circle, and pile three with the square. We're going to give you some time to reflect on the piles. It's best to go with your gut instinct. These are timeless readings, so whenever you run across a video and like to watch it, there should be a message for you. In each reading, we also do our oracle spheres. That's where you can ask a yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to. We would like to uh, invite you to check out our other videos on the channel because besides doing these daily readings, we also put out other videos uh, every week and many of them are timeless and a lot of them are on a lot of different topics. We also just recently put out our uh, yearly predictions based on your astrology signs for your sun, moon, and rising signs. And so you might want to check those out as well. Okay, we're going to give you some time to reflect on the piles. And when you're ready, there will be timestamps in the description that will lead you directly to your reading. And we'll see you there. Hello, Pal One. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the star, we have your messages here, and we also have our Oracle Spheres. That's where you can uh, get an answer to your yes or no type of question that you'd like an answer to. All right, let's see what we've got today. Ooh, we got the Devil. We got the World, and the Three of Wands. Okay. Right now, you have some opportunities coming to you to um, receive or to get something that you have really been dreaming about. Basically, your wish upon a star wish, okay? That is very close to being manifested. It's very close to coming to you. And... There is a temptation that's also in the mix that could hinder that from coming to you or could uh, make it more difficult to manifest into your life. I don't know what that temptation is specifically. Um, it's basically something that um, it could be things like um, if you're an alcoholic and you're tempted to go off the wagon. And if you did go off the wagon, that would uh, hinder something that you wanted uh, coming to you. Uh, that's one scenario. Um, I'm not saying that's for all of you or anything. It's just an example of the type of thing we're talking about. Or it could be that um, somebody that's not good for you, maybe you've been in a relationship and it's not a very good one and you keep going back to them. Um, and maybe you're away from them right now and so you have an opportunity to get something that you've really, really been wanting, but what that temptation is is to go back to that person again, okay? That's another example. Uh, it could be something along the lines of you have the temptation to uh, undermine yourself by saying you don't deserve something or that you uh, never get anything good so it won't come your way um, and you would actually undermine it that way by having negative thoughts or things like that. So those are the types of things we're talking about. That's by no means all the scenarios uh, that are out there. Uh, those are just the type of blockages that could um, keep what you really want from coming. Um, and Spirit wants you to recognize that so that you can pay attention to the things in your life that are temptations that might block you from getting that wish upon a star wish. Okay, so that's your message for today. Let's go ahead and look at your Oracle Spheres. Now, this is where you think of a yes or no type of question that you'd like to get an answer to. You pick a stand. We have blue, gold, and silver. You decide which stand you'd like your answer to appear on, and we'll go out and get the answers, okay? Mm. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Number one blue is a probable. Number two gold is a no. And number three silver is a very likely. All right, so we have a probable, a no, and a very likely. So there's your Oracle Share answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Don't forget to share with the channel with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of any future videos that come out. We look forward to seeing you again, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit, those of you that chose the circle. We have your messages here as well as our Oracle Sphere, so uh, you can be thinking of your yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to. All right, let's see what Spirit has to say today. We have the Chariot. We have the Emperor. And the Three of Swords. Okay. Spirit says that now is the time to move forward past a heartache, okay? Um, you guys have suffered um, a heartache over the last uh, time period. It could have been fairly recently or all the way over the last few months. But basically, there's a heartache that you guys have suffered that Spirit says now is the time to... Um, move forward from that heartache. Take the lessons that you learned from it. Take the wisdom that came about because of it. Uh, all of those things and move forward now because you have an opportunity for so, to take real good control over your life. Um, you can be a lot more focused and disciplined and have a lot more stability uh, in your life. Now is a really now is the time is right for those types types of energies for you to have and you'd be able to move forward be, and also along with that to go along with this is there is something getting ready to kind of push you forward in your life as well in that some opportunity or some type of um, action or reaction to something will kind of propel you forward a little bit as well it will um so not only is it time to start moving on, but the universe is kind of going to kick that into motion as well. So this is kind of a forewarning of that, okay, to let you know that that's coming, okay? So that is your message for today. Let's look at your oracle spheres. We have a blue, gold, and silver stands today. You decide which one you'd like your answer to appear on. You think of your yes or no question, and we go out and we'll get our answers. Number one, blue, is not sure. Number two, gold, is very likely. And number three, silver, is also very likely. So we've got a not sure, a very likely, and a very likely for your oracles for answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for the reading. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Leave comments in the comment section. Share the channel with your friends and family. And subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you can be notified of future videos when they come out. We do look forward to seeing you again. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. Those of you that chose the square... I'll move that over here. Ooh. All right. We do have your messages here from Spirit. We also have our Oracle Sphere, so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to, and we'll go out and get those as well. All right. Let's see what Spirit has to say today. We have the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Huh. This, <laughs> this is intriguing. This particular message is almost the same exact message as for Pile 2, which is interesting. 
Um, totally different cards, but almost the same message. Uh, that doesn't happen, like, ever, or hardly ever. Um, not sure it's ever happened, maybe one other time. Uh, but here's the message, uh, for those of you who did not watch Pile 2. Uh, there has been some sort of hurt, some sort of emotional upset that you have suffered recently. Uh, well, it could have been really fairly recent, or it could have been as much, you know, long as a few months ago, that kind of thing. But there has been some sort of emotional upset in your life, something that has been uh, difficult for you, um, and so forth. Spirit now says, now is the time to move on from that, gain more control, focus, discipline, stability into your life, um, and be able to move forward. Now, the only difference in your message compared to Pile 2 is Pile 2 specifically said that the universe was also going to kind of kickstart that moving forward. Uh, that there was going to be some situation or offer or something that was going to come up that kind of uh, push you along. That's not necessarily a message in this particular reading. This one just says now is the time uh, to move forward from that, that to start the healing process at least, if not uh, totally being able to heal, that, that, that you have kind of been stuck in this energy a little bit and now is the time to uh, try to learn uh, what you've learned and move forward and be able uh, to move on to better things because um, there are better things out there. Okay, so that's the only real difference in the message. Otherwise, the message is almost exactly the same. Uh, you have, so I guess we're going to go ahead and go on to our Oracle Spheres. We have three different stands. We have silver, blue, and gold. You pick which stand you'd like to get your answer on. You um, think of your yes or no question. You pick your stand and we'll go out and get your answers. Ooh. You know, there's one in there. <laughs> Thought it flew out. All right, number one silver is very likely. Oh, hello. Number two blue is yes. And number three is very likely. So we have very likely yes and very likely. So there's your oracles for your answers. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the reading. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. Leave us comments in the comments section and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can be notified of future videos when they come out. We look forward to seeing you again in future videos and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.